Good morning, everyone, and happy new year. I start off very, very tired, but by waking up at around 7 a.m., give or take if I snooze the alarm. And I don't like to do this for too long, but I do go on my phone for a little bit just to catch up if I have any texts and just to look through. I just started this list on my phone for 2023, and it's been so helpful to keep me on track with my habits. And I basically just wrote out all the things that I love doing in the morning, which of course, step one is waking up and making my bed. I say good morning to Mochi, my cat, and look at the views outside because there's mountains and the sunrise. And I just kind of go through my list of habits and things and actual steps that I have to go right after another. So I'm just going to be washing my face and brushing my teeth, doing all of that not so fun stuff. But I literally need to do it as soon as I wake up. And then I'm going to the kitchen and taking my vitamins. The vitamins that I personally take are magnesium and vitamin D. And then we go right into the kitchen and I make my coffee. I know it's not the best to do it right away when you wake up, but I literally feel like after winter break and the holidays, I have just been so tired in the morning. So that is the first thing that I do. And it's also so cold since it's winter good morning and happy 2023 it's actually so crazy that i can say that now because i was doing a lot of prep and things like that and all i was thinking about was how excited i was to finally be able to say that i was really feeling like showing you guys my morning routine it's something that i've been getting back into especially after the holidays and winter break and today is actually january 2nd which is a monday so i feel like this year that is the proper day to kind of start getting back into things i just love the start of anything like the start of of course a new year or the start of a day or the start of a week and i feel like it can be a really important part to kind of of set yourself up so my mornings to me are really important times and I really wasn't always a morning person whatsoever actually now I quite enjoy my mornings and they are probably my favorite part of my day I want to have somewhat of a productive day because I'm kind of coming out of like the holidays and I feel like just overall a couple of weeks of not doing that much so I'm really gonna try and push myself to get back into things today so I also wanted to mention I got a new camera I don't know if anyone can notice the difference I really do think that there's a pretty big difference in like the sound quality and overall just the quality of my videos so i'm really excited about that i'm gonna do a little bit of gua sha so i'm gonna oil my face i'm just gonna kind of go in with it really lightly because i have not done this in weeks I literally love doing my skincare routine and I usually alternate between doing my gua sha or my ice roller. One of my favorite things to do if I know I'm washing my hair that day is putting my hair up and sleeking it back with, I think it's called Jehovah oil. This is literally amazing. If you guys watched my prepping for 2022 video, I talked a lot about goals in general, but basically something that I really wanna do this year is I wanna find a workout or like a type of exercise that really works for me because I've never really had that. And I feel like at times we kind of just jump into exercise just with the point of doing an exercise instead of finding something that we like doing and kind of growing with it. I really enjoy Pilates and running, so I'm hoping to kind of just get better at those things. So yeah, I really encourage you guys, if you have any fitness related goals, I would definitely explore it and find what works for you or try out some sort of new class. You know, if you don't want to do a class, you can always do a video at home that's like something totally new because you never know what you're going to end up enjoying. I'm just wearing this Nike sports bra with this little shawl over it because it is winter and it's actually really cold in my room. So yeah, I think I'm going to try some sort of like low resistance at home Pilates but I will link the exact video that I end up doing today so you guys can also try it if you'd like yeah anyways let's get into today's workout <laughs> love breakfast i feel like i make something a little different every day sometimes it's the first thing that i do when i wake up or sometimes i do it like after my workout and after my shower today i think we're gonna make something with avocado and eggs that is one of my favorite combinations i also put hot sauce on basically all my breakfasts but yeah i make some sort of variation of this every day and yeah it is literally so good i also like to try and be present when i'm eating my breakfast because i know after that is when i kind of start my work day so yeah it is literally one of my favorite parts of my day <music>
makeup just because I feel like it gives me just that extra boost in the day. So I'm just gonna do a really minimal look. It literally takes like 10 minutes. But yeah, I just quickly went ahead and planned out my day. I try and be as mindful as I can be at least in the morning time. And then when I make it to here, that is when I'm feeling like excited for the day. Let me tell you over winter break, I really took a step back and I feel like it is super healthy, but I'm getting to the point now where it's been like three weeks and I feel like I've just been lounging and I really wanna get some structure back into my life. So that's what I'm really excited for for the month of January. And I have been doing it for the last couple of days, the last few days, or I guess like the last week of December, that is when I kind of buckled things down and I'm like, okay, let's organize your life. Let's do all your laundry, let's reset. And I actually did that in my last video. It's resetting for 2023, which I feel like we all need a little bit of. But I feel like the one thing that I love resetting is my morning routine because it always leaves me feeling so good and having that structure. I feel like when I have it in the morning, it's kind of like a domino effect and I just want to continue being like that throughout the day. That is why I feel like a morning routine is so helpful. But yeah, I literally can't believe that it's already the start of the new year and I feel like I genuinely feel so good about it and excited and I feel like that's the positive energy that's kind of circling around 2023 and I really hope that you're feeling great and are in a good place and if you're not, don't worry because I feel like life at the end of the day, like of course we can make a million goals for the new year or anything like that but life really does ebb and flow and if you're not totally feeling the new year just know that it doesn't have to be the start of a new year to start new goals or anything like that or even do like a reset you can literally do that anytime that suits you and that suits kind of like what you're feeling okay so i'm literally just throwing some bronzer on this is the mac studio fix powder in and it's literally one of my favorite powder bronzers to use it's actually supposed to be a face powder so i feel like it also acts as a little bit of coverage and it just goes on so smoothly i feel like this is my main makeup step whenever i'm doing like at home makeup because it still feels really light and doesn't feel like overwhelming on my skin but yeah i couldn't be more grateful for 2022 i feel like it was a year of a lot of growth but also a lot of experiences i really did enjoy the year i feel like i feel like a lot of dream things kind of happened which honestly i'm just so grateful for and i look back and i'm like in awe every year looks so different and i feel like each year we kind of have a different focus like but what i like to say is that at the end of the day it's all necessary for growth so so if you feel like there was things that you focus too much on you've kind of learned from in 2022 i feel like the best way to set your own goals is to look at those things and be like okay how can i apply those things into a new year and that is how we grow the most as people and but yeah this week i'm also planning on weekly vlogging so which i'm literally so excited to take you guys along and also get more personal on here because i'm just so excited especially for my youtube channel this year set my face with literally my favorite setting spray which is the Too faced three-in-one hangover spray I think that this is the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Wand. And I found this dupe on TikTok. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick in the color Peach Bums. And if you know what the Charlotte Tilbury looks like, it looks so similar to this when it's blended out. So I literally up my nose and then all the way down here. And this is also under $10 and it was in stock on Amazon when I got it. And it lasts a super long time as well and makes your skin look super glowy. <laughs> So I've been doing work for the past hour or so and I'm just kind of getting into things. I feel like that's kind of the structure of my days and what my mornings typically look like. For movement though, I do normally either do like a long walk while listening to a podcast or I do a workout. So, but either way, I always end up at this point in my day where I'm sitting at my desk doing work and just kind of like setting intentions and creating my to-do list for whatever I have to do that day. So yeah, every day does look a little bit different for me depending on what I'm working on. But for today, I have orders to create for Hold Tight and then I just had some emails to go through as well and some customer things and then of course i'm filming this video and also editing it and then that usually leads me up until like i would say like six or seven o'clock and that's when i try put everything away and just kind of relax but in the winter time it has been so helpful waking up even a little bit earlier sometimes i try and aim for like 6 30 but but it is a little bit difficult right now just because the holidays so my sleep schedule just would not work that way but just because it gets dark so early so waking up a little bit earlier is honestly so helpful and just kind of trying to stay awake from getting in a seasonal slump but i feel like just being up with the sun and working when the sun is out literally helps me so much but yeah anyways you guys i'm gonna get going now and head into the rest of my day once again i'm literally wishing you guys the best new year and, and just overall the best year ahead for you so yeah let me know down below if you have a goal for the year or an intention or anything like that put it in the comments below because i literally love hearing them and you guys commented so many on my last video but yeah anyways make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys guys back with my next video.